presidente. Praise the Lord for this time we are together for this uh, courtesy call. We just thought it would not be appropriate to be in the state and not visit uh, citizen number one in the state. And he has graciously given us the time uh, to have this get together uh, for the benefit of the whole state and for the benefit of sharing together why we are in the state and what has been happening in the state. Actually, we've been going to different states of Nigeria and different countries in Africa uh, for two years now. Uh, I've been going to uh, different places before these two years, but uh, these two years we've um, uh, now uh, raised up what we have referred to as the GCK. It's the global crusade that God has uh, led us to. And we've been in different uh, zones in Nigeria as well as different countries like Cameroon, like Togo, like Ghana, and uh, we still plan to go to others in the touring of the African countries and then beyond uh, Africa. This time we have uh, come for uh, the crusade we titled Supernatural Freedom Through Christ. Yes, we know Christ is many things to many people, but in particular, he gives us freedom personal freedom, family freedom, and freedom in the community because Christ died for the whole, uh, for the whole world. And uh, since we came, we started on Thursday, and here today we're going to conclude everything tonight by the grace of God. There have been three parts of uh, the GCK that we're doing this time. Number one, the crusade that uh, takes place every evening, and uh, we start around five and uh, we we'll finish when uh, we get to the climax of uh, the program, which is the testimony. And in the testimony all over the world, the testimonies come because we transmit from here what we call the Alpha location, and we transmit at present to 180 countries. They see us, they receive from us, they hear the message. We see them too, and we hear from them. And during the testimony time, it's a joy to have testimony coming from all over the world. We've seen blind eyes opening, we've seen the lame walking, we've seen, we've seen deaf and dumb people uh, getting their hearing and everything. We've seen also the people People that have been uh, uh, tormented, traumatized, and harassed by evil powers and evil spirits, completely delivered, and they come out and they say, "Here is what, where I've been, and this is what I've been doing." One man uh, came out, uh, I think, about a few days ago. He's been picking things from the dustbin to to eat. He's been. He knew he was mental. He knew what he was doing, although he wasn't in control. But yet, as we prayed in this uh, global say the Lord touched him not only touched him, transformed him and struck out all that evil thing from his life. We've seen people that have cancer terminal and they are healed and they go back to the doctors and they tell uh, the doctors, check me again in one case, the doctor said, what am I testing you for? I know your case your case is tricky. He said, test me all the same and lo and behold as the doctor, uh, you know, tested him in reputable hospitals um, they couldn't find any trace of cancer. And it's been like that, not only in the Alpha location, but all over. And we have the joy of wanting to help the people that are in problems. And uh, this time we came to River State, and it's been awesome every night. And then we have another part of the GCK, which is the minister's conference, uh, to strengthen the ministers of the gospel and the professionals too, to strengthen everyone. And then we have our youth, because they are the, they are the leaders of tomorrow. We want to impact them. In fact, we call it impact, because we bring the word to them that will tell 
turn them around. And many of our youth that are just roaming about, and even though they go to college, they go to school, they go everywhere, but they do not have focus and direction in life. So we bring the focus they ought to have so that they'll prepare for something tremendous in their lives. We bring other youth to who have accomplished it technological things or social things and we tell them or show they show them what they are doing so that they can inspire all the ch other children or other young people what they ought to do and what they ought to be and it's been awesome and as we came to river state here i've been coming before but i've never seen what i've seen in river state at this time well in short that's why we're here and I feel it's going to inform you that God is doing great things in River State and will continue. And we're available to be of benefit and of blessing to the whole of the state and to the rest of the world. Uh, Mr. Governor, Your Excellency, I you know, appreciate the time you have given us and we thank you very much for what uh, you are doing and I need to say maybe we don't know what you seen the government building and the government building uh, for our ministers conference we should have paid a large sum of money but the governor graciously gave us free of charge but never forget. thank you and God bless everyone we have made our position very very clear from the beginning of our administration on the 29th of May when we took our oath of office we did declare publicly before everyone that River State is a Christian state and that we will support those values that will uphold tenets of Christianity around us. So let me, on behalf of the government and the good people of River State, welcome you to your home. As a government, we will collaborate with you to make sure that any other program that is coming up in this state, not just by the uh, deeper Christian life, but any other Christian body who will give them all the necessary support to ensure that we continue to let people know, preach this gospel to everybody, not just in River State, but in Extension Nigeria. So we really need to support the work of Christ. So, as a government, let me reassure you again that we'll collaborate with you wherever we need to come in, support you, and ensure that you continue to enjoy that homely uh, relaxation whenever you come into River State for your crusade or any other ministerial job that you're coming to do. 